Alright, so now we're going to start sculpting on the face. So, the first thing that I like to do when I have uh, everything imported is just to um, start moving things around a little bit. And I'm going to do that by uh, hitting B to bring up the brushes and then um, M to separate it by brushes that start with M. And I'm going to use the move topological. The move and the move topological are basically the same, except um, it, the, the move topological will recognize um, gaps in the model. And I prefer to work that way. So obviously, um, with your brackets, you can make the radius of the brush bigger or smaller. You can also do that up here. Um, with your draw size and your, you can change the focal shift so the fall off basically and um, you can determine whether the brush is going to add or sub um, plus and minus you can determine the intensity of the brush and you can also determine whether this is going to be um, editing the color as well so um, we don't need a color on right now, so you can click that off. Uh, once we get, have the sculpt finished and we start coloring on it, you're going to want to have the RGB on. But right now we can just start moving things around. And oh, actually, before that even, you want to make sure that your um, symmetry is turned on so that everything is the same on both sides. So let's uh, do your um, transform and you can see your activate symmetry. That's right there. So the other quicker way to do that is just by hitting X and that comes right on. So let's just, I wanted to kind of make the nostrils a little smaller. Um, and I actually brought up a screenshot of a test one that I did real quick just um, so I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to look like. And yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have that little nostril hole be pretty small. And I wanted to have like a really furrowed brow look right here. Um, I also got to pull the geometry back a little bit right here. And I kind of changed like the mouth and the sides of the head shape a little bit. So I'm just going to do some of that with this move topological. If you wanted to move the entire nostril down, it would just make the brush bigger. And then let's zoom in a little bit. And if your whole model is filling up the canvas like that, you can just continue. You can continue to rotate around by clicking outside of the canvas in this gray area. So let's bring the brush size down a little bit so we can kind of just focus on a few vertices at a time. Right now. I think that's already starting to look better. So the other thing now I'm going to want to bring that back up, and I want to have this these uh, these brows be really furrowed, really looking mean and nasty, <laughs> and that pretty much does it. Could probably bring that down like that a little bit more even. And I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to just kind of pull out some of these vertices on the side of the head a little bit. Because we're going to kind of sculpt that out with the standard brush and the clay buildup. Um, and then the one other thing that happened here was in Max, I, I didn't actually um, sculpt model that correctly so I'm just gonna pull make it make it real big so I'm pulling um, quite a few of the vertices there and just make that eye socket big enough that it goes around the eye also I think I'm gonna pull this in a little bit 
in and up. And I think that is already starting to look a little bit better. So that's one of the first things that I do is the, um, the move tool. So I'm going to um, stop this video here and then we're going to um, start working with the um, standard brush in the next video.